Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bolo Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a 1986 Buick Grand National. This has been completely serviced by us. We've touched it up in regards to paint, and we've gone through it. This is a really nice example, and we removed the pleasure-making device. So this does have an exhaust cutout. We took it off for this test drive, so it'll be really fun. Also, if you're looking at my shirt right now, we do have the Turbo T design shirt on, and it is a eye break for Corvette shirt. Really, really neat. We have these in multiple colors, and there's only 100 of them available. So if you want to order one, just go to sales at bulletmotorsport.com. Give them your shirt size. These are really nice cotton, and they look really good. Retro. Back to this 86. Paint quality on this specific 86, I'd say is an eight out of 10, seven and a half to eight out of 10. Extremely clean example. 86 has a chrome grill. I say that at every video. Uh, the headlight bezels have been touched up. Bumperettes have been replaced. And then when you look down both sides, there are no dents or dimples. We had the dent remover take them out. We also replaced the uh, uh, wheel moldings in the rear. This is a pretty rare car because it is a Astro roof car. So it came from the factory with a sunroof. Interior is very clean, original interior components, original steering wheel. Let me open up the door for you. Hear the chime. It does have an aftermarket set of, of uh, floor mats, and it is showing 53,000 original miles. Our friend Ron Bailey found this for us. He sources a lot of uh, beautiful turbo Buicks for us. Power seats, which work. Door closes easily, tires have 95% tread, and I want you to go to our gallery so you can see underneath it. It's extremely clean. Bumperettes in the rear are really nice. And then the trunk, let's open that up for you. We're gonna look at the, the sticker up here. Here we go. We're gonna be looking for WET, which signifies Grand National. It's right there. This will be the rest of the options. We have a photo of this for the gallery carpet kit for the trunk and it does have the original spare. I will include this so you can cover your dash and not have any damage. Trunk closes easily. Rear tail lights are in really nice shape. And when you come to the passenger side, look at how nice that quarter looks. Very, very clean. Still has a textured design on both sides, right after this line here, which is proper. Antenna is stuck up, but I believe it's because someone replaced the radio with one that's not for a power antenna. Wheels are in nice shape. I'd give them a six out of 10 for uh, sheen and quality. We did have to polish them quite a bit. Let's open up the passenger side door. New gaskets. Door is really nice. The Fisher trim is nice. And then look at the headliner as well. Headliner is starting to show a little bit of age. You can see it sagging by the uh, by the corner there, and there's a little bit of a stain from someone leaving that sunroof open. Let's get to the good stuff. I'm gonna open up the hood here. So it does have minor modifications. You do have a cold air intake. It's still running the, the air density. Factory intercooler, uh, green top injectors, and we did replace the power ball with a uh, master cylinder and the correct T setup. Painted the turbo shroud, and this specific car does have, that's an original uh, downpipe, but it does have a Y cutoff, so it does have an open exhaust, which sounds really, really good. That's what this piece is right here that I took off. You take it off with three bolts, and you're good to go. Very, very quiet otherwise. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to party. Let me start it up and you're gonna hear this thing. All it does is whistle. You hear that? Turbo power, baby. <laughs> Let's go for a ride. We're inside right now, the steering wheel is original and it shows very well. I don't see any cracks or scratches except for right here. Small imperfection, someone must have grabbed it with their nail. It does have an aftermarket gauge uh, right here for your boost. And it does have a digital dash. Your AC works extremely well. We actually serviced it. 
um, and it does flow cold. Let me close that. Lights work as they should. All of your gauges when you turn it on, so when you turn it on, you're gonna have your service light come on and all the other lights come on. And when I said 53,000, it's actually 63,000. From my angle, it's a little tough, and we also have five in stock, so I get a little confused sometimes. Horn works, shifter's very nice, ashtray is nice, it will include a free dime. Center console's nice, and then there's a chip here, I believe this is the factory chip that it comes with. Rear seats are really, really nice. Well, let's get to the cool feature. So it's a factory Astro roof. And open it up. Very clean. Let's close that. Let's put it into drive. Brakes are really good in this car because we just serviced it. You can push it. I don't see any issues with the vacuum system. We just did fluids and filters exactly one mile ago, which is great. The radio does turn on, but as I said, this is not set up for a, an antenna that goes up and down, so the power antenna is staying open. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna send signal to it before it ships out so it stays down. We're gonna drive it regularly down Ravenswood and then I'll get a little bit more spirited on the way back Open exhaust is uh, very loud, so what we may do is actually close it for one run. Shifts very firm. It's so cool. Hopefully it's not too loud. You can see the boost will start to build. The turbo flutter. I'm in third right now. I didn't want to put it in overdrive, but overdrive does work. Hopefully it's not too loud. Let me put the window up a little bit here. I'll put it up more. Once we get to this corner right here, I'll uh, slow down and I'll brake boost it rolling in first gear and we'll let her rip. It's going to sound like a jet because it's a cutout. The cutout is open. Let's get it into third. Let it downshift. You ready? We're gonna brake boost it. So we're rolling still. Ready? Sixty-six miles an hour. That's pretty impressive. It sounds so cool. If you guys have any questions about this Grand National or the other five we have in stock, just give us a email at sales at bulletmotorsport.com. We'll be able to help you with purchasing an awesome Turbo Buick. 954-363-2261. Let's turn around and do another pull with that open exhaust. It sounds so cool. All right, we're gonna brake boost it. Watch the boost. in your life. All right, so I just put the exhaust cut out plate back in. Let's start it up. Cold start. A lot quieter. 